No shop talk. That was the agreement, remember? And it's done us the world of good. All right. Tomorrow's another day. There's a meeting to discuss at my office. Ten minutes. Great. I'll see you there. Perhaps I could be useful at the meeting. Uh, you're fully booked, and I'd prefer to confine it to the oncology stuff. Marge, have you got those timesheets done? Julie's made it quite clear the oncology unit can function successfully without you. Is Julia suggesting I don't have the skills for the job? Team building is my strength, for God's not sake. Not possible, I'm afraid. I will but not be manipulated. Abortion. This is sheer emotional blackmail. As from this moment, you are no longer employed at Shortland Street. trying to do make sure i'll never work again look at yourself darling we've hardly been back a day and already you're aggressive tense hyperactive if you continue like this you'll tip over into depression now. and you know this for a fact well we have been down this road before and i love you far too much to let it happen again thank you very much for your concern i'm touched i'm trying to do what is best you don't have to work money isn't an issue i make enough for both of us i know i just love being dependent on my high powered wife it is not a dependency situation you can get back to your book finish it be recognized for the talented person you are and get out of your hair great Richard, I do not want to argue about this, honestly. And the only way to avoid it is to fire me. <laughs> You're a wonder, Julia. You truly are. Hello, Richard. Hello. Richard, please don't go. Consistency isn't your strong point, is it? Thank you. Hey, Mike. Oh, Tiffany, hi. I heard you on the radio. You sounded pretty brave. Actually, I almost chickened out. Nancy talked me into it. Well, I couldn't let it down after all the trouble she'd gone to. Heaven forbid. You sounded a bit confused about some of the treatments. You think so? Would you like another chat about your options in plain English? Yeah, sure. Hi. Hey. What did Martin have to say? Yeah, he wouldn't see me. But I did find out one thing. He's going away. Out of town? France. Apparently he scored a cushy job in a the university there. Oh, I get it. Manny goes to prison while he goes to Europe. All expenses paid, I suppose. Yep. Watch out, Rangi. You're starting to sound like a care. Hey, damn right I care. Manny deserves justice just like anyone else. Hey, if you need any help getting up for him, I'm here. Thanks. It means a lot. So, what do I tell Susanna if she rings back? <sighs> tell her to nerf off. Sam? Why are you so anxious to avoid her? Come on, spill. There's nothing to say. Oh, come on, that's not fair. You know all my secrets. <sighs> Look, I worked for the woman, that's all. Doing what? Uh, gardener, chauffeur, when they were down in Devon. I was her minder when she was at the Knightsbridge Flats. Devon, Knightsbridge, I smell serious money here. Oh, uh, yeah. Pots of money, man, and absolutely no brains to go with it. Isn't Sammy wonderful, darling? So handsome, so strong, so brown. Still, I'd put up with a lot for that kind of lifestyle. Uh, somehow, I don't think you would. Anyway, I told her what she could do with her Range Rover, and then I split. Well, you couldn't have parted too badly if she's so keen to get in contact with you. Hey, that's got nothing to do with me. She's a user, that's all. Yeah, but what exactly did she use, Sam? Look, my wife may be a total idiot, but that doesn't mean you can get away with it. Look, I don't want excuses. I want that fruit shifted, and I want it now. Come on in. Look, talk to me when you've got something intelligent to say. Important deal. Just the usual. What can I do for you? Um, just came to your obs, if that's okay. Fine, fine. Do your best. Um, Bernie, I was wondering... Yeah? Um, I don't want to impose, but I've been watching the way you work, and it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Got your eye on that sort of thing, have you? Well, not really, which is the problem. You see, um, my old man's given me some cash to invest, but I'm pretty much a novice, and I don't yeah. know what to... How much are we talking about here? A few thou. But um, I want to make it grow. I thought you could help me out. Well, there's big bucks and bananas. So until Manny enters a place stuck on remand. Well, what about bail? After last time. Oh, I suppose not. Have you got that character reference? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Thanks a lot. 
This is great. My small contribution to keeping him out of jail? How is he? You know what man he's like when he gets in trouble? He's thrown in the towel, huh? Pretty much. As long as things are good, he's a ball of energy. The minute there's a minor setback, he gives it. Chris? Yeah. Look, don't give up on him. That's the main thing. Not a chance. Bring on the next victim. Oh, Mike. Uh, look, I'm glad you're here. It seems I owe you an apology. Whatever my personal or professional opinion about appropriate treatment, I shouldn't have tried to force you. Well, I understand all that, but it doesn't matter now. Sorry? Mike's made some decisions he thinks you should know about. Go ahead. I think you'll find Dr. Warner a lot more receptive now. Do they know if he's going to do time? Not afraid to me, you can help it. Well, I'll be keeping him in my prayers. Hey, having the big guy on our side's got to be a plus. Think you can get him to testify? Oh. I'm leave this place for five minutes and what happens? Oh. Damn. No, it's all right. Leave it. Sorry, he's only trying to help. Take it your morning off wasn't much fun. Save the concern, Bex. I'm not in the mood. Sorry. No, I am sorry. You are not the people I should be mad at. Hey, um, is Sammy home today? Yeah, dodging phone calls from his rich British woman. How old do you reckon she is? I didn't ask, but he loathes her. Well, I hope you listen to this. Let's play hooky this afternoon. Jenny Harrison, are you seriously suggesting leaving the desk? I am. What do you think? A drive out to look at the batch? Five minutes to organise some stuff. And not a second more. Show me the dishes. Oh, willing helper. Do you believe this? Sorry, hidden agenda. I'm getting some excellent shots in there. And we thought he was happy to slave away in the family business. Where did we go wrong? Don't be too hard on him. Uh, he'll see the light. <laughs> so are things okay? Now your parents are home? Yeah, I think Dick and Jules have finally got it together. Hey, Dad. James. Whiskey double, thanks. What's Mum done now? Sacked me. Terminated my employment. All for my own good, of course. Well, you're not going to let her get away with it. You've got to do something. I am. Cheers. Mm. Same again, thanks. Very mature. Row with the old lady, get drunk and sulk for the next six months. Excellent role model, Dad. He still wants to continue with some of Nancy's regime, but the good news is he's agreed to chemo. And no legal response to your little stunt? He's just happy to know where he's headed. Should never have been in doubt. Yeah, I'm aware of that, and I've apologised to him for our little terror campaign. All in all, a win. I wouldn't say a win, Chris. Not after what he's been through. I guess that's a fair comment. I want to talk to you. I'm in a meeting. Oh, wait. No, you will not. You want to see me? Yes. Come on, we'll wait outside. Something very smug about his aura. I didn't ask you in here to discuss Chris's ethereal emanations. Sit down. The oncology unit. Julia, the atmosphere is positively poisonous. You know, in the States, they've done tests that prove that inanimate objects absorb hostility. Can it, please? As I was saying, in my opinion, the oncology unit is being sabotaged before it can get off the ground. I hold you directly responsible. What about Chris and I'm therefore terminating your connection with it immediately. You can't do that. I can. But I'm a good therapist. You are more of a publicist than a therapist and your own best client. We don't have time for that here. We'll see about this. Your behaviour has been unethical, unprofessional, and unacceptable. Now, shall I call security or will you find your own way up? Oh, a message from Laurie. He's got a couple of bags of compost for you. Now, if he's not there when you collect them, tell the assistant that you're to get them for nothing. Oh, Laurie can't afford to give stuff away. You gave us the coffee shop for Lulu's birthday. Tit for tat, Mr. Skeggins. Not a bad reference. Sounds like he actually likes the guy. Of course he does. Settle down, Crusader Rabbit. I'm on the same team, remember? We need more. Maybe I should talk to Julia. Ooh, bad idea. One, she's on the warpath at the moment, so now's not a good time to ask. And two, I've got something a little bit more effective lined up. Like what? Media coverage? Yes, you're wonderful. Careful, I might get the wrong idea. Well, who when? Tell me when I get to talk to Ian Fraser. Oh, he's the man now. Nick. Nick is your media coach. Hello, boys and girls. Club Meister himself. Good day. Mum. Oh, 
Well, we're going to do. I haven't been to the bank today. I don't want money. How could you sack Dad? Oh, please. Can we discuss this tonight? I am so busy. And he's in Kennedy's slurping up scotch. Great move. I don't know what you want me to say. Your father can't cope with work stress and I cannot cope with the disruption he causes. The clinic comes first as usual. It is not like that, James. I love your father very much and I do not want to see him fall apart again. Well, he was fine when you got back. Exactly. Wonderful. But the minute he comes under pressure, everything changes. He tries to take on too much. He will not slow down when I suggest he does. I didn't know another way to protect him from himself. You can't accept that. Well, I'll just have to live with it. No, I reckon you did the right thing. You do? Yeah. The big problem is going to be convincing Dad. Don't hesitate to call us if you have any problems. How's Bobby doing? If you're that interested, why don't you check up on him yourself? Not a happy chappy. And make it last. Where is Jenny? I have no idea. She swanned off before lunch. And Johnny has a day off. Making up for lost time, perhaps. I hear they're buying a batch. I just love the way my staff's personal lives dictate their professional behaviour. If she deigns to put in an appearance, would you remind her that she has a job to attend? The only thing she did on her holiday was sharpen her knives. I wonder who's next on the hit list. Why do you say that? She already sacked Nancy today. Well, that was hardly unexpected. And Richard got the boot too. What her own husband? The woman is all heart. Oh, the return of the lovebirds. You'd better get yourself upstairs. Needle nose is in a very nasty mood. Better wait. Have you got time for a coffee before you head back? Um, so, uh, what have you two been up to? Just a quick drive out to the beach. It's bad. It's absolutely fabulous. I didn't want to come back. Back to work, wench. Slave driver. I'll just pick up some notes. Well, before you go, I've reconsidered my little op. Could we have a wee chat? Sure. Yeah, but they're really, really ripe. But you wouldn't want them green, would you? What am I going to do with a truckload of black bananas? I hope you're not saying you want your money back, sunshine. I am, actually. Look, a deal's a deal. You pay your money, you take your chances. Yeah, I mean, but it's hardly... You want to be an entrepreneur. You can't go falling over at the first hurdle. This business is about lateral thinking, turning shtuk into silver. Now, where would the deli business be today if some joker had said, goose liver, can't do anything with that? Seize the opportunity and make it your own. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Mm. Business or pleasure? Oh, a bit of both. No problems? Been talking to the missus. Mm, our paths have crossed. She's not a happy woman. Mm. We had words. I shouted a bit. Again? Bernie, I thought you had this anger thing under control. Oh, I try, Ellen. I do try. But you don't know where you are with Carla. Gets my goat. I know the feeling. So what are you going to do about it? Bug it if I know. Maybe I'm just not cut out for marriage. Be my own boss for too long. Maybe. But you didn't know Carla very well before you two got together. Mm, point taken. But I mean, now I have to deal with it, don't I? Meet with your approval. It's coming along. You need a bit more practice. Couldn't agree more, but uh, he's at the clinic running this place, keeping an eye on the kitchen. I don't get the time to develop the front of house skills. However, if I had a good maitre d'. Uh, me, for example. That's the one. We both know you can do it. You've done the job before. What would I do for a social life? Hey, we've got a lot of singles in here. Some uh, tasty babes, if you catch my drift. Well, I do, and I'm not impressed. We're talking employment perks for when Sam takes over as maitre d'. I haven't said That's yes. That's a great idea. And let him know tomorrow, because I have some plans for him tonight. Looks like I've been told. Well, you can take that look off your face and buy me a drink. I thought you weren't talking to me. Oh, everyone deserves a second chance. Now, drink first, followed by an apology for your lousy attitude. And then maybe we'll talk about dinner. He won't come, James. He's too angry. And miss the big resolution scene? I think not. Now, play nicely, you two. And don't come home till it's sorted. Mike's getting his own way, doesn't he? Can't imagine where he gets that from. Sorry about my behaviour today. Apology accepted. I've been giving the work issue some thought, and uh, I accept there's some justification for your decision. I sense a but coming. No, no. I haven't been able to separate our working relationship from our marriage, but I'm seeing the situation much more clearly now. A little story to start the Love Monsters show, boys and girls. A certain lecturer here on campus, who shall remain nameless if I want to stay on the air, is well known for his interest in students, girl-type students. 
One particular girl student, in fact, tenant of his even. Small problem. Girl student's not interested. Does this stop the lecturer? No way, he hits on girl student. Boyfriend gets a little upset by all this. He has a go at our lecturer. Ugly, but understandable. Some of you probably saw it. Now here's the fun stuff. The boyfriend's brown, so he goes to jail. The lecturer's Pakeha, so he goes to Europe. The love meister reckons that that sucks the big one. Waiting on your response out there. I hate this. What's the point? Wait, wait. Hello, caller. Is this a bucket of life's little droppings or what? Yeah, it's a stink deal, all right. I saw the whole thing. Yeah? Yeah, so did my friends. The funny thing is, we don't remember him putting him in the boot. So no crime, no time, you reckon? You got it. Any more of you memory loss types out there? My, my, the lines are lighting up. Big or small? Big, thank you. What's this? Might love it. Oh, no, not again. He starts chemo on Friday. Well, wonders never cease. How did you manage this? I didn't. Tiffany did. How did you do that? It wasn't all that hard. All we needed was a little reassurance. I look forward to seeing the colour of Miss Harding's aura when she hears about this. Uh, which brings me to my next piece of news. Nancy has moved on at Julia's request. Sanity at last. Are you kidding? After all, she's contributed. <laughs> Nancy's contribution consisted mainly of pushing her own barrow. And yours didn't? At any rate, she's gone and we have an updated admissions list, so let's get into no, it. No, hang on, I want to talk about this dismissal. You can't just kick a member of the team out without examining what's Our collective navels. Well, you do that, Warner, I haven't got time. Fine. My interpersonal skills aren't required here. I'll go elsewhere. If I never hear the word interpersonal ever again, I'll be quite happy. Now, let's get down to some real medicine. Sorry, pal, I've got no use for Banana pato? That's a bit of a stretch. I like not to do it. All right, I'll take a dozen. You're about right for a banana cake binge. Sure you want to take more? Just heard. I think it is an incredibly stupid decision. Do you know what Julie's done now? Well, since Nancy and I are breakfasting together, you can assume she's brought me up to date, yes. It's outrageous. Thanks, Guy. Your support counts, but I really don't mind. You know? With Mike. I simply don't think this is in his best interest. Hmm, I could say that again. I mean, you just hear Chris and Finley sharpening up their scalpels. Yeah, we're talking chemotherapy, Guy, not surgery. Whatever, Julia hasn't put any brakes on them. I don't suppose you could do anything? No, I have no intention of adding to the Mike Lovett circus. No, I could intervene on another level, I suppose. <gasps> you didn't. I did. So he bought me a drink and apologised, and now everything's cool. <laughs> You are amazing. Sam's amazing. We're going out this afternoon. <laughs> That's cool, Auntie. Yeah, well, we really appreciate your help. Guess what, guess what? Oh, just a tick? Yeah, she's here now. You want a word? OK, I'll get her to give you a call when there's a court date. You're a dog. Bye. Would you believe Auntie Tui heard Nick last night? And she is all fired up. Says her and her mob will do anything they can to help Manny. Really hammer the brown issue. I think they'll put on a good show. Brilliant, look at this. It's a list of Nick's callers. There must be hundreds. We'll do a ring around, see if they're willing to testify. You mean lie? Well, I'm not asking them to, but... You won't say don't if they're willing. Anything for a good cause. But this is the best news. After he took off, I got a phone call from a Sunday paper. Someone there heard Nick's broadcast. Oh, and you said it was a bad idea having him in on the act? I was wrong, I admit it. I'm going to try and convince them to do a piece on Manny. I've got an appointment with them later. If I succeed, we're away laughing. And I'd say we make a great team. There's your half of the names. Give Bex a call, she'd love to help. Sure. Oh, what will you be doing while we're bending people's ears? Well, I'm going to tell Manny the good news. He'll be over the moon. See you later. Hang on. What? A big one, right here, just to say thanks for all the work I've done. Thank you. Bernie's been asking for you. Well, let him ask. A little fence mending might be in order. So you're the expert, are you? Ellen, I need to. I'm just going. Don't. I want to explain. I already know. Buying a batch to explain your absence is deception and real estate. I've been around that block before. I had to do something. We well, could stay with Jenny, give her the love and care she deserves, and leave me out of it. Excuse me, who was it that said a little hot sex was just what she needed? Okay, I was an idiot. It was fun, all right? But I hate this lying and cheating. So do I. Oh, really? Ellen, this is not just sex. You and I have got a hell of a lot of Johnny, I don't want to know about it. Just go away and leave me alone, all right?
After Nick did his bit last night, there is not a student on campus who'll say they saw that fight. Yeah, right. And Chris's character reference is great. Rangi's got Auntie Tilly on side. You know what her community connections are like. They'll be big on the discrimination issue. Nobody is going to lock you up. I'm already locked up, Rach. And I beat that guy up. I was all safe, so. No way. The guys in here reckon I'll do a couple of months on a prison farm. I can do that, no sweat. Why, if you don't have to? You drive me crazy giving up like this. I'm not giving up on you. Rangi's not giving up on you. Whatever. Well, I've got to go. I've organised an interview with the Sunday paper. I'm trying to convince them to do a piece on you. So, back up, boy. You're not going to have to do time. No chance. So, where's today's lineup? Sorry? My clients. I assume I do have some to see. Uh, this is just a little bit awkward. Your clients have actually been handed up. Oh, Dr. Thornton. Yes, ma'am. There seemed to be some confusion with uh, Richard. What might that be? Well, he's asking for his patient schedule. Well, it's not an unreasonable request, surely. I do work here. Richard, I thought that we had no. discussed... No. You made a decision about my employment. But I suspect you didn't check with your legal advisors first. No. And then you probably don't realise that my contract is unbreakable, apart from dereliction of duty. And I don't think you could make a case there. You're challenging my authority merely making clear divisions in our relationship. As my wife, you are the object of my adoration. As my employer. Well, if you'd like to make a battle of this, I'll fight you every inch of the way. Now, those clients. You are such a pushover, sir. Hey, all I did was say yes to dinner. Yeah, and the rest. Come on, fess up. If you don't tell me, I'm going to follow you and ambush your romance. <laughs> romance? We're going rollerblading. Oh, any chance to shock that pod? And you reckon there's no room that's happening. <laughs> Sam, so good to see you. Ah, uh, Bex, this is Susanna Beecham, who Sam worked for in the UK. <laughs> worked for me? What a quaint way of putting it. Susanna. Darling, these are your friends. We can be frank. Sam's my lover. 